President William Ruto has challenged the International Labour Organization to expand its discussions to include the unemployed in order to pave way for sustainable solutions to unemployment. Goals. Speaking during his keynote address at the International Labour Organization's World of Work Summit in Geneva, Switzerland, Ruto has called on African states to accelerate actualization of Agenda 2063 to create more opportunities for the people. We have to urgently invest in ambitious ways of getting millions of unemployed people, especially in the global south, to work and to take bold institutional measures to deliberately create opportunities for them. For in Kenya, we are currently having a robust conversation. Many people working are asking me, how is it our business to contribute so that others can find work? And the stark answer I've always given them is that it is the taxes of those who don't work that pay our salaries. And it is not too much to ask us to pay for those so that those who do not work find work. Further, the president has said consolidating the African market through the implementation of the African continental free trade area will bring more job opportunities to an already swelled population of unemployed persons. The most visible doorway to this opportunity is continental economic integration. We are consolidating the African market through the implementation of the Africa continental free trade area to increase intra-Africa trade to between 40 and 50 percent and enhance our contribution to global trade to a level commensurate with greater productivity of our population. On climate change, President Ruto said concerted efforts remain key to addressing challenges of global warming, noting that it was time for the entire world to implement solutions to the challenges with radical determination on a global scale. On this matter of climate change, there is no developing or developed countries. Working together in a win-win arrangement is what will get us the solutions we are looking for for climate change. The head of state is on a two-day state visit in Switzerland for a series of bilateral talks with the Director General of the International Labour Organization for concerted efforts in promoting and ensuring dignified work for all. Bentura Kwamboka, K24 Evening Edition.